Hi, it's Steve here. In this overview on the racing price monitor, I'll just be looking at, in this video, the races and runners. On the left-hand side there, we've got the countries that I've uh, nominated, which are the US and Australia here. And the grey races here are the ones that have already been. So if I click on the um, grey race, they have already been. So we can go back in the up until midnight UK time, we can go back and look at any of the day's races and we can change the T settings. T settings are, if we look down the bottom here, my T1 setting, so that's all the prices here. That has taken 120 minutes I've set before the race. So two hours before the race, uh, misdemeanor was 2.16. And uh, just uh, as the race jumped, its final price was 2.16. One eight, and the T2 is an hour, so that price is an hour before the start, uh, half an hour before the start, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and the T6 is five minutes before the start. You can change those times to anything that you want in the settings, which I won't go into at the moment, but in the settings here at the top part here, you can set the times, or you can set the exact time, all the minutes before the race, so you can see there 120, 60, etc. And that's what this is running on. The good thing is that I could go in here and just put in 90, for example, go down and click submit, and then we go back in here, and these prices now will change to what they were at 90 minutes before the off. The thing with this, you can go back in here and have a look at the prices. And also the main feature of this here, of course, is looking at what has happened over that period of time. In this race here in Wagga, the first race here, we can see that the two favourites, the two horses in the market here, have all are all red except for the last five minutes on this um, Balaminka. But all the next three horses, Parliament, Jungle Book and Gentleman Max, we can see there are all green just about except for the last five minutes there. Um, Gentleman Max went out a dollar. So these would be good horses to bet and in fact I bet in this race and these horses did run one, two, three. So we can see here if we look here they run Parliament, Jungle Book, Gentleman Max and we can see down there the trifecta was 121 the first four, we didn't have the first four, but certainly uh, we had those three, they were our three green horses. So it does throw up some good um, betting indicators. And of course here you looked at Rivers of Gold, um, 3.05 with 90 minutes to go. And we could see right through it was on the drift out. So it would have been a good horse, you could have laid it if you'd wanted to or traded it. This. This is a tool that gives you the inside information. Do you want to trade? Do you want to um, uh, back? I like getting at some of these horses like Gentleman Max and that and um, backing them with a win but with a good saver on the place market because I, I do find even though the money is there for them, they may just miss on the day uh, but they, they'll run a place. And some of them are good prices. I've had 68 uh, 5.2 in the last couple of days, so they've been some good places. We just pull out a race here. Look, uh, Wellington race three. What have we got here? Okay, we see here Chevron Prince right across. Very strong, very strong um, betting green right through. Open the morning uh, 90 minutes at sevens and jumped at 4.3. So you can see even in the last five minutes it came in, it was at 5.5 with five minutes to go and jumps at 4.3. So 21% even in the last five minutes. Fonda was 13% in the last five minutes. And uh, the number five down here is eight. This, these ones here at the last five minutes and that, I find these prices can be people trading in that. But the good, long, strong, if it's green, running green right through, then I find them to be pretty good bets. And in this race, we only had two, and they were Chevron Prince and Fonda. This is WATAB, so just disregard the prices. Okay, so Chevron Prince 
was first and Fonda ran fourth in that one. Okay. Back to our chart. So we just have a look at, say, Toowoomba. What's that? Toowoomba race five. We can see there the favourite uh, Genoa was 4.1 at 90 minutes. Ended up jumping at 3.5. So you can see the 90 minute price. The, the, the T1 or T2, the, the price here is the price, the percentage is the price at, say, T2. We know T2, if we look down the bottom, is at the 60 minute mark was 4.2 and its current price whether it's two minutes to go this this price here refreshes every 15 seconds okay so so it's pretty um, constant as to what we've got we've got audio bay there green right through there audio bay I did back that one it ran fourth in that one there um, Genoa let's just check I'm not sure how Genoa went we can see there uh, Genoa ran third and audio bay ran fourth Okay, it does have, we can see here, it does have harness racing in it too, but harness racing obviously has a lot less um, information. Um, oh, sorry, it's, the markets are a lot, lot less. So you can have here, for example, Kowarski um, analyst, you can see that's green right across there. And I find if the favourite is green right through there in in harness racing, it's a pretty good bet because you can see there, there's only one other green square, and that's there, Sports Star, oh, and and there, Sports Star. So uh, this horse here won easily. Um, but in harness racing, there's a lot less money. So if you were going to specialise in harness racing for the day, I would change my T1s and T6s right through to be a lot, because the money's only coming in, even though I'd say T1, make that 30 minutes, etc. But you can play around with it, obviously, to have a look and see how it looks. Okay, the other thing, so, so just um, before I sign off from that, I just want to show you in the settings... We scroll up you can pick the countries in that that you want to uh, monitor and uh, by ticking them so they will monitor the races on that day to day through like I've got here Australia and the US at the moment okay now the other thing that it has in the racing price monitor is it has steamer and drifters so what it's doing here it's highlighting the prices and the biggest movements from the highest, biggest fluctuations right through to the lowest. And then on the other side, it has got the movements uh, of the drifters. So this is very good to have a look at and hone in on a race. And then you can go back into here and look more specifically at what is happening. But this, this, how are we getting this price here? The TO price, this is set it can be set at a time you can say like from eight o'clock my time and all the times on these are set at off your computer clock so it's your local time so that says from whatever my local time was I think I've set this from uh, eight o'clock in the morning so from eight o'clock this morning till now Artie Lucas was at 4.6 at eight o'clock and it's uh, firmed into 3.25 so it's come in 30%. Ballarat race 5, we don't have any others. In Ballarat race 5, we've probably got here, we've got the favourite here, Shepherd, which at that same time at 8 o'clock this morning was 1.76. It's now out to 2.32. So that's drifted out 30%. Okay, so that gives you some idea. And the settings for these are done down the bottom here in the drifter settings and I've got my prices the minimum price from 150 maximum price 20 and then the drifters 1.5 and the maximum price at 10.05 minimum volume you can set if you want to get plenty of drifters in here you can set it low and you'll get lots and it, then you can go back into the races and just find out exactly what's moving and uh, and then you can bring up um, like I use easy bet bot but whatever you, know, you can bring it up and you can see how much is in the market see this one here at Wagga we can see there's 
a hundred thousand Australian dollars in this one okay so that's the two features that are in this racing price monitor and it's web based so that you can access it on your iPad you can access it anywhere you just log into your account and you can also download if you want to download a race you can export it and it'll download it you must have obviously Excel but it, it'll download into a CSV file so we've got this race here if I click on export and then bring it up there it is there's this race that we've just had now okay so it tells us down in the tab it was a Wagga race 2 and um, it gives us the prices at the different intervals and that so obviously it's a good uh, tool for doing a bit of research as well okay thanks for watching this and um, we'll talk a bit more on some other features later on this is Steve signing off hoping that you do see benefit in our racing price monitor thank you